Could a massive asteroid be lurking in the far reaches of space, waiting to end our world? It's a terrifying thought, one that could easily keep you awake at night. An extinction-level asteroid impact is the stuff of nightmares. And while the odds of it happening are incredibly slim, just the possibility is enough to make anyone uneasy. Imagine, just for a moment, that out there in the cosmic void, the next end of the world headline is quietly hurtling toward us. Enter NASA, our very own Space Avengers, constantly on the lookout, tracking these space rocks and figuring out how to gently nudge them if they get too close. Stick around to discover how these scientists track these potential cosmic threats and meet some of the most dangerous near-Earth objects you've probably never heard of. Mm. Astronomers use some seriously powerful telescopes to spot new asteroids zipping through the sky. When they find one, they start tracking it by snapping a bunch of pictures over several nights. This helps them figure out how the asteroid moves across the stars and plot its orbit around the sun. Here's where it gets cool. Think of orbit calculations like swinging a ball on a string. The string keeps the ball in a circle, right? Asteroids are like balls in space and Earth is like an invisible hand that gives it a tug. Scientists use super fancy calculations to figure out how fast the asteroid is going and how strong Earth's gravitational pull is. This tells them where the asteroid will end up in the future, just like knowing the speed of your car helps you figure out where you'll stop after hitting the brakes. With all this data, astronomers calculate the chances of an asteroid hitting Earth. They look at its size, speed, and how close it'll come to us. And if it's too close for comfort, they start sweating bullets or rockets, maybe. Astronomers use radar to get even better info, which is like bat echolocation, but way cooler. They send signals to the asteroid and measure how long it takes for the signals to bounce back. This helps them figure out exactly how far away the asteroid is and fine tune their calculations. Fun fact alert. Sometimes an asteroid passing near Earth might go through a gravitational keyhole. If it does, it could uh, change its path enough to make it more likely to hit us later. So it's like we're playing cosmic dodgeball. Even after calculating the risks, astronomers don't just chill. They keep an eye on the asteroid to make sure they have the latest scoop. If anything changes, they update their predictions faster than you can say asteroid apocalypse. They do this to keep track of the big space rocks and ensure they're not on a collision course with Earth. All right, before we dive into the most dangerous near-Earth objects, NEOs, make sure to give us a thumbs up, share the video, and smash that notification bell. By subscribing, you'll stay in the loop on any space updates. We'll keep you informed and prepared so you never miss an update on what's lurking in the cosmic void. So, now that we've got a handle on how astronomers track these cosmic wanderers, let's zoom in on a recent visitor that's been catching some serious attention. Enter our cosmic VIP of the moment 2023, TL4. Discovered in October 2023, this rock star was spotted during some intense sky gazing from October 8th to October 19th. It's an Apollo-type NEO, meaning its orbit cheekily crosses Earth's path. Picture it as a space invader eyeing our backyard like it's got a serious case of FOMO. This NEO is no tiny pebble, it's roughly 0.20 miles, about 0.33 kilometers across. And that's around 47 million tons of sheer space rock awesomeness. If it decided to crash our planet's party, it would release energy equivalent to about 7.5 billion tons of TNT. That's over 15 times more powerful than the Tsar Bomba, the biggest non-nuclear explosion in 1961. Imagine a big explosion that could flatten a city and create global climate chaos. So yeah, 2023 TL4 is a big deal. 2023 TL4 will make its closest approach to Earth on October 10th, 2119, and lucky for us. The chance of it striking us is about 0.00055%, or roughly one in 181,000. It's a slim chance, but scientists are on it like hawks, making sure our future isn't turned into a cosmic disaster flick. Did you know? Ceres is the largest asteroid in our solar system. And because it's so massive, it's classified as both an asteroid and a dwarf planet. 
From one rock star to a classic heavyweight, let's rewind and look at a long-time contender in the Asteroid lineup. Meet 29,075, formerly known as 1950, D.A., an asteroid with a bit of history. Let's rewind to February 23rd, 1950, when this cosmic heavyweight in 1950 D.A., now 29,075, was first spotted by our astronomer pals at Palomar Observatory in sunny California. The telescopes were like potato cameras back then, so they lost track of it quickly. Fast forward to 2000, and they found it again with shiny new tech. 29,075 is about 1.3 kilometres, 0.81 miles across, and weighs around 78 million tonnes. A massive pile of rubble with lots of iron and nickel. Now, why should you care? This asteroid is a top contender among the potentially hazardous asteroids, meaning its orbit brings it pretty close to Earth. Right now, it's got about a 0.0029% chance, or about 1 in 34,500, of crashing into us on March 16th, uh, 2880. And if it did, it'd unleash an explosion equivalent to 75 billion tons of TNT. Imagine another extinction level event, like adding a new chapter to the dinosaur extinction saga. But don't stress just yet. Astronomers are on it with ground-based telescopes and radar, keeping a close watch. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, or CNEOS, is on the case with their Sentry Impact Monitoring System. They're basically Earth's cosmic security team, making sure no surprise asteroid visits sneak through. We're now for the big bad wolf of our asteroid roster. Let's talk about Bennu the asteroid that's got everyone's attention and a reputation for being one of the most dangerous objects in our solar system. With a 1 in 2,700 chance of colliding with Earth on September 21st, 2,135, Bennu is our solar system's most dangerous natural hazard. Bennu is a carbonaceous asteroid, meaning it's packed with carbon-rich materials. It's roughly spherical with about 1,640 feet or 500 metres in diameter and weighs around 85 million metric tonnes. For your reference, the Empire State Building is 1,454 feet or 443 metres tall and 365,000 tonnes. An impact from Bennu would release energy equivalent to 1.4 billion tonnes of TNT. In perspective, Bennu is big enough to wipe out an entire city and cause massive earthquakes and tsunamis. It's like an end-of-the-world blockbuster. But here's the silver lining. If Bennu does hit us, at least we won't have to worry about climate change anymore. One less thing on our plate. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission gathers tons of data to help scientists understand Bennu's behaviour and potential impact scenarios. Random fact, the word asteroid comes from the Greek word asteroids, which means star-like. So, in a way, Bennu is like a cosmic celebrity. But why stop at just knowing about these cosmic troublemakers? Understanding NEOs isn't just about dodging potential disasters. It's about unlocking the secrets of our solar system and paving the way for future space adventures. Besides creating an early warning system, studying these space rocks also gives us insights into the early solar system and the building blocks of planets. It's like digging up ancient fossils, but in space. Beyond that, understanding NEOs might help us use them as resources for future space exploration. Imagine mining asteroids for metals or using them as pit stops for deeper space missions. It's about turning space rocks into stepping stones for humanity's next big adventure. So what happens if an asteroid decides to drop by Earth uninvited? Aside from making a frantic dash to the nearest bunker and launching a rocket into space, scientists are cooking up some cool strategies to deal with potential asteroid impacts. One idea is the gravity tractor. Imagine this as a cosmic tugboat. The plan involves sending a spacecraft to hover near the asteroid and use its gravity to nudge the asteroid off its collision course with Earth gently. It's like giving the asteroid a little cosmic push to steer it away. If things get dire, there's always the nuclear option. In this worst case scenario, we'd use a nuclear explosion to either vaporize the asteroid or break it into smaller pieces. It's a bit of a last resort measure, 
but it's on the table if needed. Another approach is asteroid deflection. This involves using various methods to alter the asteroid's trajectory, ensuring it misses Earth entirely. It's all about tweaking the asteroid's path just enough to keep our planet safe. Excitingly, China and the European Space Agency, ESA, are leading the charge with some cutting-edge missions to defend our planet. China is gearing up for a planetary defence mission, initially targeting asteroid 2019 VL5, with a pair of spacecraft set to launch in 2025. They've since shifted focus to asteroid 2015 XF261. Their mission involves sending one spacecraft to collide with a small asteroid to test the kinetic impactor method, while another will gather data on the aftermath. This strategy is like a cosmic game of pool, slamming a spacecraft into the asteroid to nudge it away from Earth. It's all about seeing how effectively we can alter an asteroid's trajectory and revolutionize our ability to prevent potential impacts. And speaking of bold moves, did you know that 30 years ago on July 16th, 1994, astronomers watched in awe as pieces of the Shoemaker-Levy 9 comet smashed into Jupiter? Meanwhile, ESA is preparing for its rapid Apophis mission for space safety, also known as RAMSES. This upcoming mission will rendezvous with asteroid Apophis, about the size of a cruise liner. Apophis will zoom close to Earth on April 13th, 2029, making it visible to billions of people. A cosmic selfie opportunity. Ramses will observe how Earth's gravity interacts with Apophis, acting as a cosmic tour guide and helping us understand how to keep the chaos at bay. If this cosmic adventure has you on the edge of your seat, you'll want to stick around for what's next. Worried about those extinction-level asteroids that could wipe us out like the dinosaurs? Well, you're in luck. China and the European Space Agency are gearing up to protect Earth from these deadly threats. Click here and we'll dive into the story of how the European Space Agency is taking planetary defense to the next level.